Our first honoree is Rana Baranobis. Live the spirit of aloha. This means to be respectful, empathetic, kind, grateful, positive, and loving for others and nature. Rana Baranobis, originally from Hawaii, is the Senior Vice President of Corporate Social Responsibility, Organizational Development, and Internal Communications for Athene USA. In this capacity, she leads corporate social responsibility and has worked on projects that benefit the community, such as United Way, Athene North Shore, the Athene Pedestrian Bridge, a volunteer program for Habitat for Humanity, a learning lab at Urban Dreams, and a therapy gym at ChildServe. Within Athene, she also created and executed a nationally recognized diversity, equity, and inclusion program that has resulted in positive scores over a five-year period and has been a factor in the company's ability to hire and retain staff. Outside of Athene, however, her influence has been felt by numerous organizations, including the Iowa Asian Alliance, during her tenure on the board and as board chair, the organization doubled its financial strength, and she was instrumental in hiring Nu Hoon as executive director. She wrote of Baranobis's time, no task was too small or too big, from picking up trash at celebration to securing thousands of dollars, Rana modeled that behavior. As a highly respected individual who is genuine, sincere, and personable, she has the ability to bring people together for a greater purpose. Isaiah Knox, whose Urban Dreams organization has benefited from her and Athene's support, wrote, Rana is deeply engaged in community service and volunteer work, serving on numerous board and advisory council. Her passion for social responsibility and philanthropy is genuinely inspiring, and she exemplifies what it means to lead with integrity, compassion, and purpose. The business record is proud to recognize Rana Baranobis as a 2024 Women of Influence. Thank you, thank you. I'll begin with three simple words. Grateful, honored, humbled. Everything that I talk about will be tied back to one of those words. I wanna begin by thanking Connie Weimer, Susanna, Chris, and the entire business publication team for the work that they do in this community. For over 40 years, they've educated, connected, and inspired a community to be better, to do more, to think, to be curious. And I'm honored that you all decided that I'm worthy of this award. My fellow honorees, those of you that are here this evening, it was, it's been great to get to know you and to meet you. I'm proud to be part of this prestigious group of women. And to those that came before us, thank you, thank you, thank you. You've blazed the trail. You've helped to set the standard for what all of us should aspire to. I want to thank Alicia Holker, a 40 under 40 honoree this past cycle, and a filmmaker. She's the amazing young woman that nominated me for this recognition. It's a privilege to be considered one of her mentors, and she humbled me with this gesture. She pulled together an impressive group of supporters to reinforce the nomination, to include, now get ready, Jackie Easley, Dr. Mary Chapman, Hannah Inman, New Wynn, Bo and Laura James, Jay Byers, John Forsyth, and Senator Isaiah Knox. I, yeah. 
pretty powerful group. I consider this group my part of my personal board of directors. And when I say that, each of them has had a positive impact on either my personal career or philanthropic journey. And I'm grateful for each of them in different ways. I want to thank Athene and my Athene colleagues who are here this evening. I am proud to work for a company so committed to community. And I want to thank each and every one of my colleagues for being here this evening to help support me. Thank you. My ohana. At the core of who I am is my family. Mahalo to my rock and love of my life, my husband, Tony. My pride and joy and my purpose in life, my beautiful daughters, Leilani and Brooke and their husbands, Casey and Grady, my grandloves, Kailea, Kona, Kian, Graydon and Creed. Our beginnings set the foundation and shape who we become. And I'm no exception. As I began the start of this with grateful, honored, and humbled, all of these words apply to the pride I have in being the daughter of Clifford and Sally Baranobis, who are both here, traveled here this evening to be with me. Not only are they my parents, but I also have seven other siblings, and I love each and every one of them. When I think of my number one woman of influence, that would be my mom. My mom is the strongest woman I know, and a community leader in so many roles that she served. For example, she served on the city council. She's been a leader in our church. She's organized little leagues, and she's a social activist. She's going to be busy. My dad is my biggest advocate. In my dad's eyes, I can do no wrong. I am daddy's little girl. He also advocated for my mom back in a time when it may not have been so popular to do all of the cool things that she did in the 60s and 70s. And he always was there to support and uplift women. I will say that my, my parents allowed me to do everything that I needed to do to pursue my dreams and to support my dreams. And I love you both with all of my heart. When I think about inspiring and looking at the next generation of women influencers, I've heard some of the quotes that I was going to share, so I won't repeat those. But what is important to me is that it truly starts with us. Each and every one of us have to be the change that we do want to see, but we have to be intentional about making that difference. So as I close, I want to once again say that I am grateful, I am honored, and I am humbled. Mahalo.